This is a podcast from the Angel News Network with author Joel Anastasi interviewing Mother Gaia as channeled by Philip Elton Collins. Greetings, beloved humans, being human upon the surface of the earth. This is Mother Gaia. I am the consciousness, I am the love, I am the creative energy of your planet. I come to you this day, this Earth Day of April 22nd of the year 2022. Two, one plus one equals two. You and me are one. What we are experiencing on this Earth Day, which has not happened in several hundred years and will not happen again until another several hundred years, are the alignment of many planets within our solar system. There is Mercury, there is Venus, there's Mars, there's Jupiter and Saturn, which are creating a energetic boot, an energetic reboot, a shift of energies allowing peace and love, if you choose it, for the creation of a creative consciousness. Beloved humans, the spiritual significance of all of this is the following for each planet. Mercury is the planet of communication, teaching you your connection. Venus is the planet of love, teaching you that you came from love and you're in the process of mastering love. Mars is the planet of action, assertive masculine energy, which is accomplished through the ego and your mental body. Jupiter is the planet of philosophy, allowing you to reflect on your knowledge moving into applied wisdom. Saturn is the planet of karma, teaching you the release of karmic debt that soon will no longer be necessary in your evolution and your ascension. And our planet, planet Earth, is teaching oneness through diversity, that you are all diversified versions of one another from the same source, that you are all equally each other in disguise. Again, this energetic alignment, this unique energetic alignment, is keep creating this energetic charge to assist the ascension of our planet. And remember, beloved humans on the surface of the planet, the planet can ascend and evolve without you. So it is time through this collective consciousness, which is an alignment of the planet and this Earth Day is celebrating, for you to commit to a unified oneness if you so choose. It is time to know that you can create a planet of equality, harmony, and balance. It is time for you to know that I am a conscious, living being, and that the air, the water, the oil, the gases, and the minerals are my organs. And over the last several hundred years, particularly the last couple of hundred years, you have abused these organs tremendously, in effect, creating a form of suicide. It is time that you know and apply that I am a conscious living being like yourself and that I have created a home for you, that you are my children. It is time to wake up as you celebrate this Earth Day, as you celebrate the alignment of all of these planets as you look into the cosmic sky and you see a physical demonstration of the truth of what I am speaking. Mercury for communication, Venus for love, Mars for action, Jupiter for philosophy, Saturn for the release of karmic debt, and this beloved planet teaching oneness through diversity. Are there any questions or concerns that you have at this time? Mother Gaia, thank you for joining us today on this wonderful day of Earth Day. Um, Yes. I, uh, I'm thinking about what you said about you represent our collective consciousness and uh, 
those of us who understand the power of the violet flame have been praying to raise collective consciousness. Quite honestly, it is a challenge uh, to be focusing on the desire for a raised collective consciousness when we're seeing uh, our Earth involved in a horrific war in the Ukraine uh, with uh, apparently the, the powers of, of those seeking equality, fighting those that are seeking the power of the few tri triumphing over the many. What would you say about our efforts to create a higher collective consciousness? What can we do to um, create the oneness on Earth that Earth is intended to teach? These events are creating that oneness. Let us talk about violet, the color violet for a moment. You have mentioned the violet flame that some may or may not know about. Violet is one of the highest frequency vibratory colors within the spectrum of white. And as you employ this, it, it, it awakens the higher consciousness in humanity. So that is the purpose of that flame, that is the purpose of that color. Regarding this particular upheaval, this war in Ukraine, it is unifying the world and showing to the world the underbelly of hatred and control and power for the toxic masculine energy. It is showing you, if you so choose in your free will and choice, and not every planet has one, what you do here is a teaching tool on this particular planet to which you have chose to create. That you cannot allow one human being, in this particular case with a toxic masculinity, to control a nation and inflict harm upon another. So in your vernacular, the world is witnessing real time in your media and in your communication and transportation this unhealed aspect of humanity. The souls who are choosing to leave the dense frequency of the third dimension, which is the earth plane now, one of the densest frequencies within the universal plane, have chosen as part of their soul plan, their purpose, to sacrifice this incarnational cycle for the higher good of all, for the higher good and service to humanity. Does that help you? So the deaths that we have been seeing and hearing reported about in the Ukraine, uh, those folks who are leaving Earth um, through the event we, we call a death have really agreed to sacrifice themselves to show the teaching that you've just outlined and explained. Exactly. And remember, beloved humans, there is no death. You are an eternal spiritual being that cannot die. You have had many lifetimes, not only on this planet, but the other planets which are mentioned in this alignment, and other planets in other galaxies. Mm -hmm. So, it is time to really realize that you cannot die, that you can transmute, transition from one physical reality to another, or make the decision to stay in an energetic spiritual format. Those are all your choices. Lose the fear of death, humanity. You cannot die. We have been told by the um, higher realms that uh, we will not ascend as a population until we see a balance of the masculine and feminine energies. And you just said that um, this war is serving to kind of unify the world to show us what happens when the feminine and the masculine are so out of balance, which we're seeing now. In a format and in a way that apparently, beloved humans, is absolutely necessary. This is what humanity apparently needs or it wouldn't be happening to master the lessons that we are talking about. It doesn't have to be this harmful, but it is a way that apparently humanity needs to learn the final, final teachings of unity collective consciousness. Remember, 
everything was created by a supreme consciousness. It coalesced into densities to create stars, to create galaxies, to create solar systems, to create planets such as this one. We're all modified forms of consciousness in one way or another, are we not? We are. We are indeed, beloved humans. It is time to fully know who you are. It's time to fully know who I am as a planet. And how you have sensed there was a limitless supply of my organs for your use in some cases, for your greed. When plenty of alternative forms of fuel and food are available to you, which have been held, withheld from you, there are plenty of sources of energy on this planet from water, from air, from light. That is a limited free supply. And many of your scientists in the past have revealed this to you and the forces that are controlling your economies and your corporations have eliminated those individuals and that truth from humanity. You cannot continue abusing my organs, beloved humans. It will be to your own demise. And there have been civilizations that tried and they were destroyed. Understand the destruction of this planet would not be allowed. The higher realms will step in and prevent that. It happened with the civilization you call Atlantis, who had the power to destroy the planet. So understand this and know this. This is not some made up fairy tale. This is the truth. This is the reality that you are living in. So the choices we need to make in order to create equality on Earth are clear, and the choices we need to make to stop assaulting our Mother Earth are clear to us. Now the choice is in our hands, the hands of mankind. Exactly. Apply them through your free will or choice or, did, or not. And you will create a consequence not to your liking. Remember the universal equation, humanity. Responsibility equals consequence. It is time that you balance this equation once and for all. Thank you, Mother Guy, for joining us today on this Earth Day 2022. And remember, you came from love. You're in the process of mastering being love. You are welcome.